Buongiorno amici, Chef Peppino at your servizio as always. How are you doing today? Okay, welcome back to the kitchen. Very excited. I wanted to do something a little bit different with you today. Introduce you to a real classic uh, Italian recipe, contorno, that consists of our beautiful friend, radicchio. Look how marvelously colored this is. You can even see these antioxidants in polyphenols with this bright purple color. Now, the radicchio looks sort of like lettuce cabbage, but it's not. It's kind of chicory, and the chicory is a little bit more bitter than your average lettuce or cabbage. Such a very strong taste. When we bake it, when we cook it, it mellows out with the bitterness, and we pair with sweet flavors in order to create a very nice contrast and coordination and balance of flavors using the bitterness, natural sweetness of the radicchio with the sweetness of the raisins, the balsamic vinegar and the nuttiness of pine nuts just to accent it at the top. Why do I want to cook with radicchio today? Well, I was going for a walk in the woods. It is autunno now, the leaves are falling, I smell very bitter scents, I saw a little bit of maple syrup drying on the tree. When I smelled a nice fresh pine tree, and I thought why not make a dish that incorporates this feeling of autumn, of the end of summer, beginning of cooler weather, with a beautiful bitter taste from the radicchio, nutty taste from the pine nuts, and a sweet taste from a raisin and the balsamic vinegar. So what we're going to do, we're going to bake the radicchio and I'm going to show you just in a second what else we're going to accompany that with before we throw him in the oven. Okay, ready to cook? I am. And here we have our two lovely heads of radicchio. I have a beautiful bosque pear just as well if you have an orange it goes great with it we're not cooking it's going to be raw we have half a cup of raisins in balsamic vinegar half a cup of pine nuts our extra virgin olive oil and salt and pepper one thing i want to bring your attention to is the stem of the radicchio what i'm doing is slicing through the stem as i make my sections of radicchio not removing the stem because as you can see this is what is going to keep all of our sections of the radicchio together in the oven while they're roasting so they're not going to fall apart and everyone will have a beautiful piece. So after I'm done cutting them into eighths, I'm into my baking dish, generous amount of olive oil to coat each section of radicchio, salt, freshly ground black pepper, and again, don't be afraid to jump in there with your hands, touch the ingredients, let them know that you're there, that you care for them, that everything is going to be all right after they're done roasting in the oven. In the oven, 15 minutes at 400 degrees. In the meantime, our pinoli, our pine nuts, go into a pan. We're toasting the pine nuts. You can see when they start, a little bit of a paler color. We're roasting them to this beautiful brownish color. They will release their oils and become much more aromatic when we serve them with the radicchio. Okay, ragazzi, 15 minutes later and we have our tray of lovely roasted radicchio. The smell is quite marvelous. The color, of course, is dampened down and so has the bitterness, but it has become such a complex flavor and I have to play it with you. Let's do it. Remember, in dishes like this, it's all about the balancing of flavors, making sure that no one flavor is overpowering the others, but that they all have a chance to take center stage together. So what I'm doing now, putting the radicchio on the plate and just spooning over some of the balsamic raisins. Sweetening it up, get a bit more balsamic there. And I've toasted pine nuts on the top, just like that. I have cut up some pear beside it and just take a look at that. 
that is a gorgeous looking plate. Let's taste though because it's the real, real deal. If you're a fan of feta cheese or parmigiano, reggiano, pecorino, pairing with this will only be spectacular because you have sharp flavors meeting each other, they complement each other very nicely. A little bit of the radicchio, the pine nuts, the raisins, and walnuts too. Let the imagination run wild, okay? Quite beautiful, the flavors, such complexity, such bitterness from the radicchio turning into sweet notes after it was roasted, having good sharp balsamic vinegar, sweet raisins, nutty pine nuts. We gave them a chance to release the oil in the pan and so they're incorporated very, very well. And then walnuts just to make it a little bit more earthy and to really, really knock home the idea of fall is here again if you want to add some feta on top do that some parmigiano it goes well even a little drizzle of honey huh? if you're not too much of a fan of the bitterness but me the radicchio treats me just fine the way it is not too bitter great balance of flavors and can't wait for you to try it out allora ragazzi i really recommend you try this recipe it's a classic it's so good for you it's completely guilt free these flavors these complexities that you're tasting you mustn't feel guilty about them they're good for you and you should eat healthy too and enjoy it number one allora until next time my friends take it easy and behave yourselves ciao